Forza i3 Mark II Quick Tips number four. Can you believe we're already at four? In this tip, we're going to talk about how to print tall, thin wall parts on the Prusa. Um, this machine is so great because everything I've thrown at it prints out really well. Um, I used to not be able to print really tall, thin parts on my previous printers um, because it just wouldn't work. Uh, the machine would skip. I'd have some issues. And this machine does it great, um, but your biggest weakness in the machine now is actually... Your filament, if you can believe that, your filament, the diameter changes just a little bit. Um, and what will happen is you'll have pieces and parts, you might be able to see this, um, it just it just starts breaking on you. Um, you can't figure out why, why is this happening? Um, playing with it a lot, I was able to get some really great prints off of it. And again, this is, this is because of my filament, um, but what you can do is actually adjust your extrusion multiplier uh, to a little bit higher this is a trick uh, so you can have a built-in insurance so for example let's go over into slicer this is my um, cutting software of choice I change the extrusion multiplier to 0 .0, 1.02 and that's a 2% more filament um, and this will always put down a little bit of extra filament about 2% um, so you get great adhesion um, to every next layer. Again, you can make really, really strong, see look at that, really, really strong parts that are not gonna break on you. And that is my quick tip number four. If you guys got any questions or comments um, or are interested in what I'm printing or how you can help, please leave a comment down below. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any problems you're currently having with your machine, uh, please reach out to me and I'll try to help you. Happy printing.